Well, the inflation numbers are out for the month of November. The inflation rate is down ever so slightly, but that doesn't mean the cost of things are really going down because inflation is now at 6.8%. Uh, we have Anis Hedari in with us now. And thanks for coming in for all of this. It's been such a big story for all of us. I'm glad to have some time with you. So the rate's slowing, Anis, but still everything's costing more. Yeah, and what a lot of Canadians are probably noticing every day, Heather, is, is grocery prices. They were more than 11% higher this November compared to last November. And you know, as you mentioned, overall inflation, it, it went down a little bit. Uh, the, the rate of price increases for food went up. So food isn't just getting more expensive, it's getting more expensive faster than it was before. And it's a lot of the things people buy every day. You know, Stats Can pointed out non-alcoholic drinks, coffee, tea, those things went up by double-digit percentages. Eggs cereal meats they got more expensive too uh, chicken prices they're going up uh, stats can is speculating that might be because of global supply chain issues and you know that's a phrase we've heard a lot of over the last couple of years but bird flu might be what's going on here um, gasoline prices though have gone down across the country they fell by 3.6 percent now that's still up compared to where they were a year ago but it's down from <laughs> the double digit increases we were seeing in prior months. Um, one of the other things that might be pulling inflation down a little bit outside of the grocery store um, is those gasoline prices, but that's volatile. You know, as we all know, gas prices will go up and down a lot. Um, mortgage interest rates have gone up a lot as well. Rent has gone up a lot. So those are things that are pulling the inflation rate up, even though it's overall trending down a little bit. So the Bank of Canada uh, and economists were hoping for the overall inflation rate to be maybe a little bit lower than we saw this month, but things are still getting more expensive for Canadians every day, Heather. It's been one of the big stories of 2022, and we will certainly see what happens uh, for 2023. Anise, thank you very much for coming in on this for us.